So I'm doing an experiment for school where I try to determine the optimal configuration for launching this plane. And to do that, I need to be able to calculate what my starting speed is when it leaves the track. And so I'm gonna show you how to do that in a really easy way. So I made this little uh, piece here that slides into this metal piece that I had that was laying around. Um, and then I drilled a hole through it so I could put the rubber band through. And you can see I just kind of attached the rubber bands to these bolts and stuck them in with rubber bands so that they stick around, nothing too complicated. Um, and so now I can slide this thing back to varying levels. And I wanted to pick a relatively low speed for my experiment and then a higher speed. And I marked it off with duct tape so that I can be consistent in my testing. So what I'll do then to measure the speed is I'll set my plane on here, hold it at the right spot, and then I'm gonna take a tape measure and put it alongside here and then videotape it and look at the video to determine how fast it moved in a certain amount. So what of time. I'm gonna do is film straight down on top of this and then release it. So now what we can do is take a look at the footage of what the plane was doing right in here. I don't care what happened down here because it was already dragging on the table and it interfered with the numbers, but I wanna know what was how fast was it going right here when it came out. So you can see I went ahead and did this and um, I'm able to drag the video and see the plane advancing frame by frame. Um, and so what I'm gonna do is look at it here and say, okay, I can see the wing is starting at two inches and then the next frame, it's at seven inches, which means in one frame, it moved five inches. And I know that my camera was filming at 60 frames per second. So five inches per frame times 60 frames per second and then divided by 12 inches per foot will give me 25 feet per second. So what we just determined is if I pull the trigger back to this first tape mark that I have and let it go, by the time the plane reaches the end of the track, it will be traveling 25 feet per second. And then now if I pull this all the way back to my other mark, and I already did the, the filming, but I put the plane in and launched it, and I calculated that this mark gives me 50 feet per second when it leaves the track. All right, so that mark is 25, and this one is 50, and that'll help me a lot with my experiment.